All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving our praise, our honor, our glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. That may look like the heathen nations, but your father seed line of your lineage goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Baha Shemi Hawashah with another lesson. And we're going to go into a news article just to show you uh, the open rebellion against Yahweh Baha Shemi Hawashah and his wicked ass kingdom, man. And to show you why the Most High is going to, t going to utterly destroy this place with no remorse. You see? But before we get into this article, let's get this. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Behold the eyes of the Lord. Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And the Most High's eyes are upon what? His eyes are upon Babylon the Great, America, man. You see, the worst nation to ever be established on the earth, this place here. The Most High's eyes are upon this place, and he's witnessing all the open rebellion, man, through the angels that he has all throughout society. Watching you people, you see, just openly rebel against the Most High with no fear, you see, <laughs> with no shame. And the Most High is going to utterly destroy this place with nuclear fire, man. He's going to rain fire down from the heavens just like he did during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. And the only ones who are going to be delivered out of that destruction is the one-third of the nation of Israel here from the land of America. Right along with the rest of the remnant from all throughout the world, man. This is the, this is what the Most High is about to bring to this place, as as a form of righteous what shit as righteous judgment. And everything that the Most High is about to do to this place is well deserved, man, well deserved. Let's go back to Second Peter two and six. It says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemn them with an overthrow making them examples making them an example unto those that should after live ungodly you see Sodom and Gomorrah is supposed to be an example of what not to be of what not to do of how not to live you see of what happens when you rebel against the most high thinking that you can do whatever you want to do and acting as if there's no consequence for that wickedness that you're committing See, America is in that same spirit. They're living out the serpent's doctrine of do as thy wilt. Thou shalt not surely die. You can do whatever you want to do. Just live. Be free. But what he's not telling you is that you're going to be punished for that in this great time of judgment that the Most High is about to unleash upon this planet Earth, man. You see? Because great judgment is coming. <laughs> especially here to America, Babylon the Great. Now, let's get into this article real quick. Now, we have here from Anton Headlines, it says, USC, which is a college out there in California, to host demonic drag show called Drag Me to Hell. You see? Openly mocking the Most High. Because they think this type of shit is funny. They think this is a game. And that's why... <laughs> In the day of the Lord, man, you people are going to be humbled greatly. All that pride that you're walking in, that arrogancy, that haughtiness, as if you can't be touched, you're about to soon find out that you can be and that you will be. That's why the Most High says he's going to bring these plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, man, <laughs> because wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Let's get that real quick. This is... uh. Right here. Second Edges. 
15. And 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You see, as what? As forms of judgment, man. This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to bring upon the earth. And you got to keep saying it. Even more so here to the land of America, man. You see? Now, why does he say he's going to do it? Verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You see that? And that, and, and, and the majority of the wickedness in the earth is propagated from where? Babylon, the great America, man. You see? And the Most High is going to deal with it, just like he dealt with Sodom and Gomorrah before. This is what's coming. And you can think of this, you can think it's a joke all you want to. You can sit there and uh, listen to these videos. You can scoff. You can mock. You can talk shit. You can act as if we're crazy. Act as if we're the weirdos for not agreeing with this wicked-ass lifestyle all you want to. But the time is going to come where the Most High is going to reward the righteous, you see, <laughs> for sign and crime for all the wickedness going on, and he's going to destroy the rebellious. For what? Committing all these abominable acts here as if you can't be touched. Now it goes on to say, because I don't want to read too much of it because it might end up getting a fucking strike. But we know what those that drag shit is. Men thinking they could be women dra dressing up as women, so forth and so on, women dressing up as men, so forth and so on. And that's against the laws of the most high, man. The most high tells you. I spelled it right. Yep. This is Deuteronomy 22. And 5 it says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah. That's plain. But here you have it. All throughout this land, you got this type of behavior going on, which just, which just shows you the open rebellion of these people. So when the time of judgment is fully upon us, don't shed a tear for these people. I'm talking about any of them. Those who practice this wicked shit, those who are in the rest of that rainbow flag community, these women who want to be sluts and harlots, these, these niggas who want to be thugs and gangsters, you see, thinking they tough. You see, all the, all these all these rebellious ass spirits, man. They are about to feel the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in a major, major way. You see? In a major way. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not fucking around, man. So here we have it. You see? Just the open more open rebellion against the most high. As if no judgment is coming. You see? Because the Most High clearly tells you that he's not for that. Matter of fact, let's see what it says in a few other versions. This is uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 in the uh, NLT. It says, a woman must not put on men's clothing, and a man must not wear women's clothing. Anyone who does this is detestable in the sight of Yahweh, your power. There it is. There it is. <laughs> but here we are, witnessing the open rebellion against the Most High. And you have a lot of our people who are into that madness, man. You see? NIV. A woman must a, a woman must not wear women's clothing, nor a man wear women's clothing. For Yahweh your power detests anyone who does this. So that's a cut to these Christians telling you that God said, Come as you are. You see? That was never said in the Bible. The Most High is not for that behavior, man. It's, it's written clearly here. It's a church. Uh, a few blocks over, they got a big-ass banner in front of the church. It says, all are welcome. Seriously. Everybody. And in the middle of those words, you see in the middle of that banner, you have a big-ass rainbow flag in the middle. Basically saying the Most High condones that type of behavior. But when we go into the scripture, we see otherwise, man. This 
It's why yeah, how about me how is gonna punish you people the way he's gonna punish you, man? And and, and horrific and severe, you see, and grievous ways, man. And you people are looking at us like we're crazy. <laughs> as you out here moving, as you're out here moving and operating with no fear of the Lord, <laughs> as if the most high didn't flood the earth and only save eight people. That's the same power that's sending the judgment this time. And he tells us it's going to be even worse. You see? And you got the nerve to look at that's crazy because we're telling you that you're wrong. You see? Mm -mm. <laughs> you see? God is love. God loves everybody. That's not what the scripture says. God said, come as you are. That's not what's written. That's some bullshit given unto you by those anti-Messiahs, you see, who are not true followers of the, uh, of the Savior of the Bible, but they're down here doing their own thing and trying to put it off on the Most High as if the Most High is for it, when he clearly tells you that he's not, you see? So back in the article, now, if you want to go read it, you can go read it, Anton Headlines, you see the title of it, go Go to Google, search it up, go read it for yourself. You see? But the Lord is about to send a punishment for all this madness, man. <laughs> you people are about to find out who you've been mocking. <laughs> for real. Now, we can go here. Isaiah 13. And we'll start at verse 6. It says, how ye for the day of Yahweh is at hand, you see, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. This is what the Most High is about to bring into the earth. Every day that passes, we get a day closer to this prophecy being fulfilled. You see, and this destruction is well deserved. Just look at how out of order this society is, man. All this fucking man is going on, and no one even considers that they're displeasing the Most High. No one even considers that there's a judgment coming for all this wicked-ass behavior. You see? No fear of the Most High. No shame in your wickedness that you're doing. Open rebellion. And the Most High is telling he's going to bring destruction upon this place beyond anything the world has ever seen, man. Making it a monument of, uh, of what happens when you commit wickedness. <laughs> you see, that's what America's about to become. This gigantic piece of land is going to become a desert. You see? A dry land in a wilderness to show the world what not to be. The Most High is going to make an example out of this place and you people right along with it. You see? Verse 7 says what? Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames because the Most High is going to set you people on fucking fire. Just like he did the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah for committing the same wickedness that you're fucking uh, doing now. <laughs> what do you think they were doing in Sodom and Gomorrah? They were doing the same type of shit that America upholds and exalts, man. The same type of shit that were happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, they've gone and give these people a whole month to celebrate this madness. This is why the Most High is bringing this destruction the way he's going to bring it. You see? The Most High is going to burn this place up with you people right along with it and it's well fucking deserved. Lord willing. <laughs> Lord willing, we be found on the Most High's good side to escape. You see? But even before that, even before the destruction comes, the Most High is going to make you people suffer. You see? The Most High is going to torment you with those spirits of vengeance. Just look, man. The 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 level of death that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to unleash in the earth. Once again, the flood doesn't even compare. 
And I can tell I can I can guarantee you it was hundreds of millions of people living during the time of the flood. The most high only saved eight. He tells us that this time of trouble is gonna be even worse than what he did back then. Let that sink in, man. It's gonna be bodies on top of bodies on top of bodies out here. Rotting in the streets. And all of this is gonna be judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for the wickedness that you people uphold and exalt here. And, and, and stand and, and stand firm, man, as if it's truth. You see? Verse 9 says what? The day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. You see that? And every time you read about this destruction of Babylon the Great, it's always talking about a desolation, a wilderness, a dry land, a desert. <laughs> You see, to never be inhabited again. That wasn't talking about ancient Babylon, because we know that ancient Babylon is modern day Iraq, which is inhabited with over three million people. So that doesn't fit the prophecy laid out for Babylon the Great. See, that prophecy, when you read about the desolation of this land, you see, the arrows being shot from one in the earth to the other, all that goes into the destruction of America. Revelation 18 is the is the rundown of how America is going to be destroyed and what and, and what's going to take place. <laughs> you see? That lake of fire that you read about in the book of Revelation is talking about America. And why is this happening? First and foremost, for what you people have done unto us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans here in this land. You see? Us, the true Israelites. What you've done unto us. And secondly, for all your open rebellion, uh, rebellion against the Most High. You see, this is what's coming. It says what? Isaiah 13 and 9. Oh, here's another cut for those anti-Messiahs, right? Those anti-Christ, you, you, you fake-ass Christians. Isaiah 13 and 9, it says, Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That's a cut to those anti-Messiahs, man, because they tell you that God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. Ain't that what the fuck them niggas say? What does the scriptures actually say, though? The most I say, he's going to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Who are the sinners? Those who commit sin. What is sin? The transgressions of the most high's laws. You see? The laws that the most high has given us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to, to show us how we're supposed to govern ourselves. What we can and cannot do. A law that's being broken on a daily basis here in Babylon the Great, around the clock, non-stop rebellion against the Most High. Everybody who, who was walking in that spirit of rebellion, talking to you Israelites, you refuse to repent, you refuse to turn back, you refuse to take heed to what the prophets are telling you, the Most High is going to destroy you here in this land. You see? This is what's coming. The land is going to be made desolate, and the Most High is going to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Ain't no such thing as God hates the sin but loves the sinner. The fuck you read that at? <laughs> you see, this is what's coming. Verse 10 says what? For the stars of heaven and the constellations shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. And the moon shall not cause a light to shine. Because that's how, how, that's how much smoke is going to be rising up out of this place once the most high sets it ablaze. It's going to block out the lights of heaven. It's going to be smoke, smoke bellowing out of America for, for, for a long time, man. You see? The Most High is bringing utter destruction to this place. Verse 10 says what? For the Salaki. Verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. Because not only is judgment going to be unleashed in America, Babylon the Great, but also all throughout the whole world. Because all of you heathen and <laughs> you Israelites who are scattered abroad are committing wickedness before the Most High. You ain't, you ain't exempt from judgment. A lot of you people all around the world are going to receive judgment from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh as well. But the, mate, the, 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 the brunt of the judgment is going to take place here in the land of America. You see? Isaiah 13 and 11 says, And I will punish the world for their evil, 
and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So all that pride that you're walking around in right now, all that arrogancy, you're thinking that what we're telling you is a joke. You're thinking that this is just a fairy tale, some fictional, some fictional novel. <laughs> you see? You think the most high is a game. You're mocking, you're scoffing, you're talking shit. The most high is about to bring all that pride and that arrogancy and that haughty low. You see? And everyone is going to be punished for their rebellion, man. The only ones who are going to escape it is who? The elect of Israel. The one-third from, from America with the rest of the remnant who are scattered all throughout the world. That's who's going to escape. No one else. And it's all through the what? The grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You see that? Verse 12 says what? And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even the golden wedge of Ophir. Because in that time, when all hell is breaking loose, that's when our value was going to shine through. That's when the Most High is going to show you who his, his, who his servants are, as it tells you in 2nd Ezra chapter 16. Then shall be known who are my servants, or who are my chosen, Salahi. Because while everybody else is catching hell out here, dying of famine, dying of thirst, dying from pestilence, you see, and all these other judgments the Most High is going to send, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to be protecting his men. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to protect those who have been standing stiffly for his name, man. You see that? And you're going to realize all that shit talking and scoffing and walking in that wickedness, you know, it was all for nothing. It was it was all in vain. That shit got you nowhere. You see, it brought you nothing, but it's going to bring you nothing but death, man. You see, this is what's coming. Just watch. So, we'll grab one more and then we'll wrap it up. This is, uh, come on, man, that BS. This is Malachi 4 and 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And what day is that? That's talking about the day when the Most High unleashes those nuclear missiles, man. You see, with the majority of them being shot here to the land of America. That's the day that comes that's going to burn like an oven. You want an illustration? Go watch uh, Terminator Judgment Day. <laughs> you see? To see the fate of you wicked ass people, man. It says what? Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Ahawah Bashim Yahweh Shah of hosts. It shall leave them neither root nor branch. You see that? This is what's coming for all this open rebellion, man. You people are not getting away. Everything that you're doing is, is being seen by the Most High. There's, no, there's nothing that you can hide from them, from your actions, from how you people think. You see? There's nothing being hid from the Most High. And everyone is going to have to pay for what they've done here on the earth, man. And that day is fastly approaching. This is what's coming. You see? <laughs> this is what's coming. You, you, you motherfuckers are let that you, you've been... Uh, <laughs> bamboozled by Esau thinking that you weren't you want going to receive a judgment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Esau has walked you motherfuckers off the cliff right along with him, man. You see? But it's coming. <laughs> Verse 2 says what? But unto you that fear my name, which are who? The remnant of the nation of Israel, those who have been prophesied to return back into the Almighty God, Yahweh, through faith in his son, Yahweh Shah. You see, and become a new creature, meaning what? We, we, we repent, amending our ways. You see that? That's who fears, that's who fear the Lord's name. The, uh, those of us men who have this truth, who are preaching the 100% correct way, not sugarcoating it, not watering it down, but giving you the true understanding of what the Most High said, giving you his name, giving you his son's name. Those are the ones that fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You see? It goes on to say, Malachi 4 and 2, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, 
That's Yahweh Shah coming back to save us, deliver us, man, to bring us into that rest once and for all. You see, to bring us into that everlasting glory, to bring us into the fullness of that second covenant, man, where we're going to be made completely righteous. And we're going to finally be at peace <laughs> with our power, man, or our power is finally going to be at peace with us. You see? That's what Yahweh Shah is bringing us, man, complete healing. And that's what we long for. So we're not in the spirit to prolong the days of America. We're not in the spirit to, to be out here chanting God bless America. We're in the spirit of a bar a bar. You see? We're in the spirit of, pray, of praying to the Lord and begging him to allow these days to go by even faster. To keep the spirit upon us to do his work and to be used as an instrument to speak his word. That's what we're crying out, to, uh, crying out for. Hey, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Something we pray every day. And if we continue to move in that spirit and operate in that spirit, man, Yahweh is going to what? Yahweh Shah is coming to do what? Coming to save us and bring us into the fullness of that glory so we can enter into that rest, man. You see? It says what? And ye shall go and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, man. So we got to keep fighting, keep enduring. And the most High is going to punish these people, man. And when it comes, don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. You see? Because these people are, are completely uh completely uh completely rebelling against the most high man and they don't and, and, and they don't give a fuck who knows about it. Just out in the open. Open rebellion against the most high. You see? But a punishment is coming for all this wicked behavior, man. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that I'm gonna end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that I out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba, Abba.